Hi, in this video, we are going to discuss about theorems on tangent, secant segments, and chords. Before proceeding to the theorem, let's identify first what an external secant segment is. An external secant segment is the part of a secant segment that is outside the circle. Okay, I want you to look at line GM. So line GM is an example of a secant line. The external secant segment is uh, the segment AM. For the secant line SM, the external secant segment is line segment EM or ME because it's part of the secant line that is outside the circle. Example. Name the external secant segment in this given illustration. So here, there are two. We have line segment BM and then line segment CM. Name the external secant segment in this illustration. Okay, in this illustration, there's only one external secant segment and that is line CM. Bakit? Line MB is a tangent line. So, wala siyang external secant segment. Name the external secant segment in this illustration. Okay, ilan kaya yung external secant segment? There's only one. That's line segment CM. Si line BM at si line LM ay tangent lines. Now, let's proceed to the first theorem. Theorem on intersecting chords. Two intersecting chords. If two chords of a circle intersect, then the product of the measures of the segments on one chord is equal to the product of the measures of the segments of the other chord. Now, pag tinignan nyo yung formula na nakasulat dito sa gilid ng ating illustration, Sabi dyan, line segment SA times line segment NA is equal to the line segment LA times line segment DA. So, kung bibigyan natin ng arrow, so si line segment SA, ita times mo sa line segment NA. At dapat, equal yon dun sa product nung dalawang line segments sa kabila. So, si line segment LA, times mo kay line segment DA. So, how do we use this in solving problems? Number 1. What is the length of line OD in the figure? So, pag tinignan nyo, ang chord AB natin, nahati siya sa dalawang line segment. Si line segment AO at si line segment OB. So, yung si AO, ang sukat niya is 8. Line, o, line segment OB is 10. And then, sa chord na CD, okay, ang binigay lang is yung measurement ni line segment CO, which is 12. So, the problem asks us to look for the value or the measure of the line segment OB. So, paano natin isosolve? Using yung theorem kanina. So, si line segment AO, ita times natin kay OB, it should be equal to the product of CO times DO. So, since hindi natin alam si DO, talagyan natin siya ng X. Okay, so let's multiply 8 times 10, 80, and then 12 times X is 12X. Now, you need to divide both sides by 12 para maiwan si X at makuha yung value ng X natin. So, 80 divided by 12 is equal to 6.67. So, that's the value or the length of line segment DO. Next problem tayo. What is the length of line ZK in the figure? So, remember, may dalawang intersecting chords dito. So, 4 and ZK came from the first chord 
At galing naman sa susunod na chord, yung measurements na 5 and C. So, what we're going to do here, multiply natin si 4 times ZK at saka si 5 times 7. But si ZK, palitan na lang natin siya ng X para hindi confusing. So, magiging 4 times X is equal to 35. Now, to get the value of X, divide natin both sides by 4. So, yung X natin will be equal to 8.75. So, paano mo malalaman kung tama yung sagot mo na 8.75? So, multiply mo lang siya kay 4. So, ang sagot niyan, 4 times 8.75 is 35. Kaya, mag equal yung chord sa kabila at yung chord sa kabila. Let's go to the next theorem. Theorem on second segment and external second segment. Anong sabi ng theorem na to? If two second segments are drawn to a circle from an exterior point, then the product of the lengths of one second segment and its external second segment is equal to the product of the lengths of the other second segment and its external second segment. So, medyo mahaba yung yung theorem natin, pero padaliin na lang natin. So, sabi dyan, kailangan merong dalawang second segments. And, um, sabi dyan, dapat they should be uh, from an external point pareho. Now, sabi dyan, product of the lengths of one second segment and its external segment so, ibig sabihin yung buong sukat ng isang external segment, pag i-multiply mo siya doon sa kanyang external second segment, ay dapat equal yon doon sa, sa buong sukat ng uh, second segment times sa external second segment niya. So, parang mas madaling intindihin yung buo times yung external second segment should be equal to yung buo ulit na isang second segment times the external second segment. Or buo times ESS is equal to buo na suka times the ESS. Let's try to apply. What is the length of X? So, pag tinignan nyo dito, may dalawang second segment at nag-meet sila sa point A. So, ang sabi ng problem, hanapin daw natin si X. Now, since hindi natin alam yung buong sukat ng, uh, ng second segment na yan, kasi may X siya, okay, what we need to do is to add mo na si X at saka si 8. So, pag in mo si X at saka si 8, makukuha mo yung sukat ng buong second segment na yan. And then, kunin mo yung sukat ng nasa labas, which is 8. Kaya mo makukuha yung x plus 8 times 8. And then, dun sa susunod naman na external na second segment, yung buo is 20 plus 12. Tapos, ita times mo siya doon sa external second segment, which is 12. Kaya, nakuha yung 20 plus 12 times 12. So, from here, pwede na tayong mag-solve. I-distribute mo muna yung 8 kay x plus 8. So, magiging 8 times x is 8x plus 8 times 8, 64. And then, 20 plus 12 is 32 times natin sa 12. So, makukuha natin is 8x plus 64 is equal to 384. Ngayon, yung whole number na positive 64, ilipat natin or transpose natin beside 384. So, combine kasi natin yung parehong whole number. Walang variable si 64. So, transpose natin. So, magiging 8x is equal to 384 minus 64. So, solve nyo yung nasa kabila. 384 minus 64 that will give us 320. And then you solve for x, divide both sides by 8. So, yung x nyo is equal to 40. Ngayon, paano natin malalaman kung tama? Yan. So, yung 40 na yon ipalit nyo dun sa x na nandito sa taas. So, 40 plus 8, that will give us 48. I times nyo sa 8, that will give you 384. Okay, that's how you check. Let's go to number 2. Okay, number 2, you are asked to look for the length of x. So, dito, binigay yung measure lang ng part na to, ng line segment na yan. So, kailangan natin kunin yung sukat ng buong second segment. So, para makuha yan ay x plus 18. 
at ano yung sukat nung nasa labas na second segment, external second segment is 18. Kaya, x plus 18 times 18 yon And then, doon naman sa kabilang, second, uh, second line. Okay, so, 24, yung isang buo ay 24 plus 16. Tapos, ita times mo siya doon sa nasa labas, which is 16. Kaya, nakuha yung buo times the external second segment is equal to buo na sukat ng, ng line segment at ng external, times the external second segment. So, x plus 18 times 18 is equal to 24 plus 16 times 16. So, solve muna natin, distribute natin si 18 kay x plus 18. So, magiging 18x plus 324. And then, yung 24 plus 16 is 40. 40 times 16. So, 640 yon transpose nyo si positive 324 kasi dapat yung combine like terms. So, 640 minus 324 ay 316 na. And then, you divide both sides by 18. Makukuha nyo your value uh, value ni x is 17.56. Ngayon yung 17.56, i-multiply nyo yan, uh, i-add nyo muna yan kay 18. Saka nyo i-multiply kay 18 ulit. Dito sa taas, substitute nyo. Okay. Dapat equal yan sa 640. Next. Another theorem tayo. Theorem on second segment, tangent segment, and external second segment. So, according to this theorem, if a tangent and a second segments are drawn to a circle from an exterior point, then the square of the length of the tangent segment is equal to the product of the lengths of the other second segment and its external second segment. So, sa theorem na to, meron tayong dalawang klaseng line. So, we have a, a tangent and then a second segment. So, sabi dyan, Yung kunin mo daw yung square ng tangent segment at dapat equal yon sa product ng second segment at ng kanyang external second segment. So, sa madaling salita, gawin natin simple. Kunin mo yung sukat ng tangent line, square mo yon Dapat equal yon sa product ng buong second segment at ng kanyang external second segment. When you say buo, ito yung buong sukat ng second segment. Yung nasa loob ng circle plus yung nasa labas. And then, multiply mo sa nasa labas na second segment. Example. What's the value of x? In this case, okay, yung ating missing value ay isang tangent line. Okay? So, sabi ng theorem natin, yung tangent is square mo. Tapos kunin mo yung sukat ng buong second segment at ita times mo yun sa external second segment. Kaya meron tayong 25 plus 16 kasi yung sukat ng buong second line. At saka 16 yun ang sukat ng nasa labas na second segment. So 256, uh, 200, uh, 25 plus 16 times 16 is 656. Get the square root of both sides. Kaya makukuha mong value ng x mo is 25.61. So, yun yung um, measure ng line, uh, ng tangent line natin. 25.61. Okay, next. Number 2. What's the value of x? So, in this problem, nawawala na naman si tangent line. So, ang sukat ng tangent line natin is x. Ngayon, ang binigay sa atin yung sukat ng second segment. So, what should we do here? So, yung tangent is square mo, kaya x squared. Tapos, kunin mo yung sukat ng buong second, uh, second line, 16 plus 9 yan. At yung nasa labas ng circle, yung OA times 9. So, 9 plus 16 is 25 times 9, 225 yon. So, para matanggal yung exponent na 2, 
get the square root of both sides. So, yung x nyo will be equal to 15. So, pag sinabstitute nyo yan, ang x squared natin is 225. So, equal nga yun doon sa buong sukat ng secant segment times sa kanyang external secant segment. I hope you learned something today. Kung nahihirapan, pwede nyo panoorin ulit yung video. Pwede nyo rin i-download at i-save sa inyong um, smartphones kung kayo ay may uh, YouTube account. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and then subscribe din.